I come. <laughs> I died laughing. So I'm sitting here thinking, he serious, straight face. I said, well, I put my hand on my stomach. I said, I think I love him. He said, mm, we're a good woman here in Charlotte. He said, no, I won't, and walked off with an attitude. So I was just kind of like sitting there because, to be honest with you, I've seen something like this before. And I realized, like, this is, I've seen this before. Dude didn't care that I was married or pregnant. He just wanted to buy all my groceries. And he, when I said I was married, he said, so what? Like, do you like him? So that made me run home and be like, Ken, we got to talk about that. Because I think that this happens on a day-to-day with women and probably with men where people are like, I, I see what you're saying out your mouth, but I have no respect. I don't care what you lacking because whatever you lack, I can buy your groceries. And I, have, I had the groceries packed up too. And so one of the young ladies that I was talking to about it today because – a lot of women, a lot of young girls call me and they watch the Taylor talk, my nieces. They, so she was asking me about how we came up with the topic. And I told her the story. And she said, well, he wanted to buy you groceries. You should have just, I said, no, ma'am. That's disrespectful. I'm married, young lady. So you got a man. And if you ever go home, even though y'all are a young couple, and you say to him, I allow him to buy my groceries, that's a fight. That's disrespect. That allows the man to feel like there's I, there's leeway and there's somewhere you lack in something that your man ain't doing. So I thought it was a good conversation. And that's how it built out. Like when she first came and told me, like, I just kind of laughed at it, you know, but it says a lot because <clears throat> clearly if you have a ring on your finger, this is man, male or female. If you have a ring on your finger, especially if you're pregnant, right. that person that obviously has no concern for your well-being. Your, your current, your future condition, they have no desire to add value. They're trying to leech and drain and get something for their own selfish and lustful gain. Um, <clears throat> and so we wanted to build it out because, okay, a little more intimate. You know what I'm saying? I bought the whole place out. <laughs> long as ain't nothing happening with the food, we good. We Even good. if it go pitch jet black in here. <laughs> keep the food. Keep the party going. He'll smile and light the room up. <laughs> so we have to ask ourselves, is it something, is it outsiders just completely infringing on the sacred circle of marriage or is it a mixture of also married couples opening up suggestive doors, making third party influencers and outside interference feel that they have a chance or that they're welcome in? So. It's crazy you said that because one of the, you know, I kind of broke it out in three things. And one is the dangers of flirting, right? Now, granted, some male or female, because it can go both ways, maybe like, yo, I'm going to let them buy my groceries. That's more money in my house. But you don't realize that under the subconscious level, that's doing something to your character. Your character and your integrity is worth more than those groceries. And so it may be looking like a come up or it may be looking like, yo, you you getting one up or whatever the case may be. But what you actually do is you're rationing out and you're raffling a portion of your character and your ter- integrity that you never can never get back. <clears throat> Not to mention, if you open up any slight door, you can't get upset and try to hold somebody else to the same standard, even if the metaphor or the example changes, because then that puts you in a position of hypocrisy. Also, if you open up that door and you allow that person to pay for your groceries, um, uh, flirt, like let's just say you, because what happens is it's not just I'm paying for your groceries, I'm out. He walking you to your car. Mm -hmm. He's eventually going to get your number. He's wooed you in a way, and it's just groceries. It's an investment. Pretty much. And then you got to realize that if you, you start putting your, your time or, you know, interest in this person, do you not think he's doing that to everybody at the grocery store? Right? Correct. Correct. And so when, when we look at society, it, it, it used to be you, you heard somebody cheating or you heard some kind of disturbing news about a relationship and it was taboo. It was outside of the norm. Now... Cheating, swinging, open relationships is becoming the norm. So now, true 
marriages, relationships, couples who are walking with integrity and not tipping the lines. Now we're the eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Now we're the weird ones. Now it's like, oh, you really happy? Mm -hmm. You like them? Like y'all really got a real marriage? It's not enough to say, look at the rock, look at the hand. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm telling you. It's like, nah, that, that, that should have been enough. Yeah. But is it him or is it the way society is portraying relationships? And I say that to say society will highlight with videos, content, and news more of limitless and excessive dating, new couple alert, breakups and scandals. It's almost impossible to go through your thread and find any kind of consistent back-to-back -back support of a righteous relationship, or you have to follow that page specifically. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, my husband, my best friend, they show us a lot of love, different things like that. But as far as the masses, it's not celebrated, but you can always bet your bottom dollar you're going to find some scandal, breakup. Those things are highlighted. Then the good couple who's walking with integrity, staying out the way, they're over there in the shadows getting no. Yeah. So what is society trying to say about relationships? Because whether you're doing it intentionally or unintentionally, it's sending a message to this and the next generation. Hmm. Whether it's movies, whether it's, no pun intended, whether it's housewives, whether hey. it's, <clears throat> I'm just keeping it G. I'm just keeping it G. It's sending a message. I have a daughter on the way. But doesn't doesn't this all tie into the word? That's a fact. Okay, so we know what is what it, what what's what's happening here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Zam Right. And because it's celebrated, I believe that it's easier for people to play upon people's weaknesses because. I know you weak. I know you're not in a relationship. I know your man ain't faithful. I know your man ain't there because we all on the same boat. So I'm going to be able to, he knew for a fact he was going to be able to pay for my groceries. He also knew for a fact that he was going to walk me down each other. He just knew it. it was, he was so confident about it because when he left, he was pissed. And I was laughing like, yo, he mad. Almost mad enough, you know, when people start coming out your mouth and be like, well, if you then, you ain't, you know, he was like, hold up. So it's almost like it's because it has, it's become the new thing. It's the trend. It's so it's easy for people to pick up, you know? So how do we, how do we, huh? It, it, it appears that people feel like everybody has a price. What do you mean? In the art of negotiation, there's a saying that everything's for sale. Everything has a price. And we live in a world of, I have to be careful what I say. Because yeah. I, got, I got corrected last week by my homeboy. Oh, what did he say? <clears throat> tell me, you didn't tell me. Oh, no, when I was using the demonstration, if a girl's promiscuous and she goes to one school, she can say that she's now a virgin, whatever the case may be, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just my terminology. Um, okay. We do, we do live in a world where, Huh. It is what it is. Our music, our culture celebrates stripping. It celebrates uh, uh, platforms of exchange. So relationships are losing the sacredness because they're, com they're becoming transactional. Mm -hmm. I'll stay with him <clears throat> as long as I can get that new Gucci bag, as long as I can still drive in that foreign car, as long as I can still keep my ranking in the hierarchy around the circle in which I have established myself as something. Um, even on the same flip side as men, I won't raise my character. I won't, I won't walk the line God requires me to walk. What I'll do is I'll pay so that you'll settle for where my character is. Because the moment that those things and those trinkets become unattractive to her, now is I need you to sell me on your character. So what's happening now is men are acquiring money and resources and allowing money, which makes it transactional, to supplement and substitute for the priceless thing of character. And this is being flashed and promoted and, and celebrated on all media platforms of programming 
They get some time minds. We laugh at it. We ha ha had it. We like, oh, did you hear about this? But we're becoming desensitized to the fact that this is wrong. This is backwards. This is unrighteous. I don't even. Well, I'm going to combat that. Let's do it. I don't think that we're becoming desensitized. I'm going to speak on behalf of the women because I see a lot of it. I think we're just living in a time where it's almost like it is what it is. And we get to a point where they start saying, I love them. And if I'm going to be with somebody, I'm going to put, I'm, you know what I mean? Like I was listening the other day to Jay-Z's song, um, I can't see it coming down my eyes, but oh, I got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really like that song. So he says in the song, which I'm not, I'm finna jack this up. <laughs> I got excited. He said, you did, didn't you? But I know you can fix it because I know you know the record. He says, I was just messing with them girls. I was going to come right back. Right? Oh, I said it right? Yeah. Check me out. Yeah. And and I was in the bathroom and I was like, oh, uh-uh. <laughs> No, you wouldn't. Because <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah. Right? That's me, my little old school way. I'm like, no, I know why she left. I'm playing the whole video out in my head yeah. of the girl, him talking to the girl. And I'm like, no, she was not going to take that. I feel like we're just living in a time where some of our women, and I don't think it's that we don't respect ourselves. It's just almost like, what am I to do? I love him. I know he loves me. Is there a better out there? Will I ever meet him? Everybody's taken. I just, I'm going to deal with it, but I don't like it. I don't like it, but I love him. The bags are not keeping them. They may think that, but they really do love them. And somewhere in there, they want them to stop it. That's why they stay. Eventually, they walk away. Okay, it may take was, it, it may take a long time. And we was talking about some of this in my book when I was going from the older mothers yeah. that I used to write. Yeah. Eventually, they will say, I can't take no more. But a lot of them hold on because they really feel like, is it today? Is he, is he going to see? Is he going to see that I'm a jewel? Is he going to see I ride for him? Like... It, 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 when they get into the arguments, that's the first thing that a woman will say is, I ride for, I'm the one to hold you down. Because somewhere in there, they're feeling like maybe he will change. I don't care about your money. A woman will stay with you if you go broke if she love you. Like, we're going to ride this thing out together, boo. I think that somewhere deep down inside, they're looking for the day when they will open their eyes and change and see that you have a jewel. I got you. I hold the kids down. You know what I mean? If you if you lose your job, I go to work. Well, I got us. It's a movie on Netflix called, you know, this is my movie because I done watched it a million times. Um, Sylvie's Love. Yeah, that, uh, Amazon. Is it Amazon? Yeah. Amazon Prime. Yeah. I've watched it a million times. Literally. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> but it's a really good movie. I think, uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Oh. Yeah. But her and her husband produced the movie. He played in it. And he was a musician, and she just loved music. And she also wanted to work uh, in the production side, like television. And it wasn't quite working as much for him, but every time he would come back, she would hold him down. But he, he as a man, he just he, he didn't like that, and most men don't. So this is a little, it's a little different because it's not. But he didn't like that. And so he would steady push away from her while she was steady saying, I'm here, but I'm here, but I'm here. And I think the, at the very, uh, Carrie Washington, at the end of the movie, um, her, her cousin tells her, like, he left because he, he doesn't want to, you know, want you to see him as weak. He, and she went back and got her man, but that's, m m mostly women kind of are like that. It's like, I don't care if you never buy me a bag or buy me shoes. It's cool. It holds me over. It's cute. I can go in front of my girlfriends. My girlfriends know, though. They know. They know I'm hurting. They know you didn't come home last night. I just want you to open your eyes and see what you have. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe that everybody is desensitized. Mm -hmm. I think they're just holding out to see, like, I love you so much. Will you open up your eyes? And if they don't, eventually they tap out. 
I agree with you, that. You see what and I'm I, saying? And I think I could build on it. That was that was that was extra dope. I feel like that's within the circle. You eating that salad? I'm gonna get to my food. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. We <laughs> I'm eating for one over here. <laughs> I think that's within the circle. And it's dead on point. It's the it's the it's the the relational demographic outside of the circle that starts to impact. The example. That man, that woman, that's her heart, right? Boom. But that one who's trying to pull him away, that one who's a distraction at his job, that one who's a distraction when he at the gym, or that one who's a distraction at the store, operates, moves by a different mode of operandi. But, 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 I'm going to be honest. She even thinks she the one. She thinks she can get a better man. Than what she's getting. I don't because you and I both know we've had conversations where there are some women out there, men too, just conversations we had who thrive on being with him because he's married, who would not want him if he was not married. That's the tipping point. So you have a couple fighting for relationship just trying to get on the even yin and yang. I need him to see me. He's trying to figure out how to communicate. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the distractor, the tempter, has no rules, no morals, no agenda, yeah. will sell themselves cheap <clears throat> because the masses, as we spoke earlier, remember, yeah. we're, we're, we're the, 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 the anomaly. Yeah. It's not like it used to be. The masses are spinning on a completely different wheel. And let me, okay, so boom, I love this. This can go really good. I like this. I see that two ways. Because, of course, we do, it, it is a lot of women out there like that, but it's, I feel like it's more situations where the man portrays to be, I totally, I'm separated. I, to, <laughs> I totally agree. Oh, no, I'm getting a separation. And the or woman this, falls all the way Or just let you in. single all together. You got those, take their ring off before they come in here. Oh, joints and take their ring I, off. I ain't got nobody. Oh, like, yeah. find out they got two different houses. Play the whole part. You need to be an entrepreneur. If you, if you running two houses at one time, you have missed your calling. You need to be running a business. I'm speaking from experience. I know. Play the entire part. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> then you also got those. Hey, I'm coming back for that salad, though. Hallelujah. And if he don't, I will. Then you got those, those women who you're talking about. That I still feel are somewhat deep down on the inside, broken from relationship. They wasn't just co- they're not just stone cold hearted women that feel like I'm finna go out here and I'm finna pop pop pop. That comes from a deeper situation, whether it was their father lacking the father's love. Then after lacking the father's love, every relationship you've been in, the nigga. Oh God, I was gonna say the bad word. The 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 dude was ish. Okay, and then they start to become cold hearted. I before I met you long ago, I started to get in that cold hearted place of like, yo, man, bump, bump me. I'm just gonna date and tell him what he want to hear. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost like I know what you're talking about, but I believe that it's deeply rooted and it comes from a place to end up being the person in the store saying, so I don't care. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think that people are just born or, or they wake up and be like, I'm going to be. That comes from hurt because we're all out here playing checkers, Uno, with hearts. Uno. Like, I got, you know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm with you. So, like, let, let, let's push it forward. Okay. So, in the spirit of trying to find first. Manage and protect something sacred. It's a jungle out here. <clears throat> so, with all that has been said, understanding the different mindsets and the paradigms of what's taking place out here in the world of relationship, in contrast to 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 being single out in that shark infested water. The last thing a couple needs to do, the last thing me and you would ever need to do, is open up a door, a suggestive. <clears throat> invitation where there's flirting being very mindful of who we share our intimate challenges with and who we receive advice from i think that's key because again as we've laid out and we haven't even cracked the surface for sake of time 
it is it's a lot of work it's a, it's a lot of strategy it's a lot of 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 design and orchestration that takes place to uphold a relationship in our current time and culture the last thing you want to do is leave the back door unlocked you know what i mean again receiving flirtatious gestures um doing things how can i break this down I think I think one of the most important times for men to guard themselves and have area of accountability is when you and your relationship are on rocky terms. Yeah. When it's good, it's good, right? But when it's rocky, if you haven't burnt that bridge, you'll cross it. Yeah. If if it's rocky, thank y'all something. Nah, yeah, I might play with that. If it's rocky and you don't have a support system who's gonna push you back to your house, push you back towards God. That is a very vulnerable state. If me and you not speaking and I roll with a bunch of savages who ready to go tear the club up, it's just a matter of time because we're going to have fallouts. We're going to have moments when you like, dang, is this, is this, is this, is this? Those are things you have to think about and you have to build in order to protect what you have at home. Um, I like that. I like that. So basically your messages and your, t go ahead. I'm see, I'm teamwork. I'm going to talk while you taste that. So basically, your messages of what you're trying to say is on Valentine's Day, being that we built this whole thing around Valentine's Day and love, speaking to couples that if you don't have something higher that's holding you accountable, it is probably it can it can fail. Yeah, you go ahead. Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got this thing where I believe there's a difference between. Hmm. There's a difference between looking and seeing, <clears throat> right? And I'm a man of integrity. I'm not perfect. I'm flawed. I'm scarred. I have traumas. But I have a high level of integrity. Therefore, I believe a man can't help what he sees. But you can control what you look at. There's a difference between, hey, bro, did you see that? Versus, now, would you look at that? Boom, even deeper. Christ in the scriptures when he was on the Mount of Beatitudes giving his first sermon and he regurgitated the Ten Commandments he said it's not enough to say that shall not commit adultery he said any man that look upon another woman there's a power in the look <clears throat> right I can't help if I'm somewhere and I see something you can't help if you see but there's a difference between okay I saw that versus I'm looking something as small as that and I understand what he meant by that. You're letting, you're letting lust, the spirit of lust, incubus and succubus, understand that, oh, you have room in your heart for me. So I'll come back at an opportune time when y'all not speaking. I'll come back at an opportune time when you didn't get your way. Or y'all distant, y'all on different sides of the country because of work or whatever. And I'm going to come back and revisit that fact that I saw you do this. one. That's all it takes is that one thing right there. And Satan and his cohorts going to say, okay, boom. Especially if you have a powerful righteous marriage. We have to guard ourselves. We have to guard what we watch, what we listen to. We have to protect what we do when we're on the outs. That's that's why, like, before COVID hit, if my wife was mad at me, where would I go? And you knew it. She didn't have to be like, where you at? She knew off the rip. But just to even make sure I didn't provoke her insecurity, I made sure I, number one, you can see the bank statement. But two... I'm going to leave my, my big gulp drink sitting on the counter with my movie ticket. Yeah, but here's the thing. I still got <laughs> mad because you went to go see a movie that we were supposed to watch together. So. Well, <laughs> but the thing is, I don't need to be going to sit at a bar if me and my wife not on good terms. I don't need to be going around hanging around some single friends if me and my wife are not in a good space. That is a sacred, vulnerable space that I have to protect. Because people don't care about your marriage. They don't care. And the last thing you need to do is be in an environment around people who don't care. Well, for that split moment, you don't care. Or they, here's the thing. <laughs> they care more about you. You got to understand, I tell some of my friends this, especially either who are married or about to get married. I, I tell them, don't tell all your friends when you're mad at your, at your person. One, you're going to look like a fool when you get back together. It's the biggest no-no. Unless you're talking to somebody who understands and they're married and they get it. But if not, because they're going to stay mad. When you get over it, right. and then when they come around, I can't stand him. What you be like? Why y'all acting like that? Of course they acting you, like you, you just told him everything, yeah. right? 
So it's, it's, it's almost like you have to begin to surround yourself around people who are going in that same direction. Or if not, it, it's just not going to work. Right. Let's get a little deeper. I was talking to one of my friends who was saying they just got with someone and the someone that they got with enjoys porn. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. Oh, wow. And she was like, but I didn't see nothing wrong with it. And I said, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with it. Matter of time. I said, try turning the porn off and you and him just go in the room. It's going to be a struggle. Because the porn now is what gets him aroused and gets him, right? right. So that's going to come in between when you say, well, you, so you got to watch her and her. And, or what's going to happen her, one day, you're going to be like, what you want for your birthday? He gonna hit you with the threesome. Anything, I can have anything. Yeah, you got it for real. You gotta you be know, careful, uh, Betty. That girl you work with down there, y'all cool, right? <laughs> y'all, y'all cool, cool. So I t and, and and when I said that, she stopped and was like, I didn't think about it like that because all she wanted to do was really please her her dude. That's an example of what I mean by being desensitized, meaning. When you're in porn overload and you're allowing all these different images to come, you're, you're desensitized to the pure single portal that you're supposed to enter and exit out of. That's not good anymore. You don't want to just come through the door. You need to come through the door, the window, the chimney, the whole nine yards. You think you're Santa Claus in the sack. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's not good. It's not. That's why you got to be everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you mean it. Huh? If I tell my wife you need to be a orangutan, honey, I'm gonna swear I get Albert to build me a suit up. <laughs> Al Al Albert to be over Albert. here and be like, "Yo, I don't know what he want, but make it an orangutan." Build me a suit, honey, because my husband said <laughs> you do. You have to become everything, you, everything, whatever it is that he want. Oh, so you like that? Well. And vice versa, fellas. Like, you can't be. I know we're getting out track. I just, we're going to do one more build out. And then we, you know, me and we could be very selfish, man. And it's not intentional. Again, a lot of us didn't see our father be romantic. But I'm, I'm saying there's no excuse because we know what needs to be done. I could have easily in my marriage say, I ain't never seen no man treat my mama like I never seen a man. But I know the right thing to do. I know how to be romantic. It's a matter of are you willing to do it? And even in, even if you're not at the point of where you want to do it and enjoy doing it, do it because you need to do it. And maybe your wife's response and the return on that investment that she gives to you and the energy in the home may move you to be like, okay, this is something I enjoy because I know if I do bop, 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 she's going to yeah. do wop, wop, wop. Yeah. So do it because it needs to be done until you get to a point where you're like, it's what I do. Especially, and ladies, ladies. Take your bonnet off sometimes. Take the bonnet off. And put your pajamas up for about a month. This onesie is frustrating. And come. Now, wait a minute now. Some onesies show everything. Boom. Less than one of them old school when they got the wow. little straps in the back and you can. Man, don't, they don't even make them. One no of them, them trailer park ones. You tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Where the trailer park onesies at around here? You tripping. <laughs> no, no, no. Them jailhouse ones. I'm saying, let, if you're wearing one of those, burn it. But you have to make your man want to do all of those things. Hmm. Since we're on topic. Uh-oh. No, I'm just, oh. you know. I'm, Message. I'll be good. Babe, you better. Um, I'm going to eat everything in here. You already know how it's going down. Um, <clears throat> how about we use this Valentine's to do something different, to push the envelope, to... Try something new to be more open to the other person's request. I, I shared it on one Taylor talk, and I don't mind doing it because I, 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 I tell people all the time, I don't have all the right answers. I don't walk in that kind of wisdom. Most of my wisdom comes from understanding what I don't know. But I share my mistakes for brothers because I, I, I feel like that's power in a mistake. <clears throat> there was a particular thing with me and my wife that she carried silently for five and a half years. That I had no idea. And when she finally shared it with me, I was like, what? Like, you've been, you been suppressing that this entire time? This is something that you look for me to provide for you? Valentine's is a great day. Like, it should be more than just the color red and the flowers and making reservations, putting on the show. It really should be an opportunity to 
go up another level and promote and love collectively. And what that really requires is open and honest conversation. Being able to be comfortable enough to tell you exactly what's on my heart, exactly what I need from you and giving you the opportunity to agree and deliver. And you telling me, well, babe, I ain't saying nothing, but this is what I would like from you. And give me an opportunity to agree and to deliver. That's what Valentine's should really be about. Because these flowers going to die. This water going to run out. One of these already burnt out. I'm going to drink it. That, I'm, yeah, they know you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glory. But Valentine's has the opportunity to be something much more than what we made it. Which is a traditional thing that 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 doesn't really impact the marriage. It just becomes a traditional thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I used to come off the road and I would, I would, I mean, it wouldn't look as good as this movie. Well, honey, I would light a bunch of candles. Yeah, it'd be a lot of candles too. Everywhere. You remember we set the, uh, the, the smoke uh-uh, alarm off uh-uh. in the hotel that one uh-uh. time? Man, my wife was trying to be safe. So she'd be like, Babe. she was like, go downstairs and, and, and then I'm, I'm going to call you when I'm ready. Now I get frustrated because I'm impatient. I'm very impatient, right? But my I'm outfit down, takes time, honey. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting downstairs for like 30 minutes. My buzz wearing off. I'm like, man, what's really good? Man, where the party at? I know I ain't supposed to have it by myself. You know what I'm saying? So then she called me upstairs, right, going to the room. I'm like, yo, this is lit. I'm like, man, we running around. Now she in her outfit. Uh-uh. I'm about tipsy. We trying to blow out candles. But that was a dope moment, though. It that was. was our little moment. Hey, look, I set it off for you, baby. Oh, I should say let it burn. Let it burn. Whatever it takes, man. You know what I mean? That's 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 our thing is we need it. You know, we're in a place in our marriage. It's different having Kazaria. It's different not being able to go out with COVID and move the way we want to move and for us to interact. You know, and, and even with us, I want to take advantage and make sure that, you know, I open the door for you to share some things with me. I know everything might not be easy, you know what I mean? But I I, I want to win at this. I want I want to be I want to be successful with this. I didn't I didn't get in to this relationship with you to drop the ball and leave you hanging, you know. We were approaching seven years and you're watching a lot of couples. I gotta tell you one too, like No. I yeah, I'm like, not nah, y'all. We we saw him in the gym one day. We was going to an award show or something, they was in the gym and we was like, That's all I'm You was like, Yeah, I was like, Okay, bet. But they split and I'm like, How they split? So like I I got you. Oh. Yeah. My lips too big oh, to whisper. No. Yeah. So I'm like but when I see these things, I'm like, not my marriage. You know what I mean? I, I can't take it for granted. I can't drop the ball and, and not take advantage of the fact that this Valentine's, I have an opportunity to invest something that can maybe get us to year eight. You know what I mean? You know, we just got to keep fighting. Like I said, because when situations like that happen in grocery stores, and if whether it's the male or the female and they're weak, and they're not getting what they want, that's how marriages that you fall right into it. So we just have to keep fighting. You know what I mean? There's nothing or no one that could come and take me away from you. I'd have been through. I know, because I'm shooting everybody. Facts. Facts. Well. You know I mean it. Yeah, I know you mean it. Yeah. Dead on bread. (laughs) You come touch mine, it's dead on bread. You can't come touch yours because I carry myself in a way where you know you can't even. Yeah. That's a fact. But should you ever have an off day? But I mean, I guess that day, I don't know what it was. It was that onesie. I'm going to stop wearing them onesies. Baby. I told you that two years ago to stop wearing them. And me and Diane had a conversation. She you, can't, huh? Who? Who? Your mama had my back. Says the woman that. Have on tights and the boys, her son. I ain't worried like. about what her Mr. Jackson. Well, got I can't hide on. what I had. I can, you give me a sweatsuit. What you think gonna happen? You wear all the rest of my stuff. And what happens in your sweatsuit? I don't never get it back. No, not that. I'm missing three full not Nike that. outfits. I'm talking about heads, hoodie, and the sweats. But no. what I'm saying is, what do you see? You can't hide it. All right then. God gave it to that me. That thing keep me in line. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Listen. That's so good. I know Derek's got some questions, man. Like, yeah, but just, you know, um, people, you know what? One last thing. Because I was thinking about this upstairs. People are not supposed to care about your marriage. That's fine. It's your marriage. 
And sometimes certain things come to test the foundation and integrity of your marriage. And that's why when my wife came in, I didn't have any issues with homeboy. God bless his soul. It was about my wife's integrity that was on the line. If if somebody eyes me or compliments me or whatever the case may be, it's got nothing to do about their looseness or their lack of whatever. It's about, okay, here's an opportunity to prove my character, to, to reinforce my vows. That's on me. So sometimes we have to look at certain things as a great opportunity to reinforce your vows. It's not, why she over there? Woo, woo, woo. Why he over there acting like, yo, that has nothing to do with what's going on over here. You do what you're going to do, but we're going to continue to reinforce and reinforce and demonstrate and, and stand firm on what we said back in 2014. And that's what it's about. We can't, I can't stop and walk in insecurity about men looking at my wife, gloating at my wife, m mumbling at my wife. They're men. What I hold my wife to is how does she carry herself as a queen. That's the only thing she can hold, hold me to. She can't worry herself sick about who looking at me, watching me, whatever the case may be. She just has to know and stand firm in my, my integrity. And that's, that's what it's really about. So we say we married. They say so what? And we say that's what's good. We'll be married here next week. We'll be here. You know I what started mean? to tell him you want to buy these steaks. <laughs> you know what I'd have deal with them steaks? Shooter brought them steaks home. You want to know? I'd have beat them and I would have marinated them with some lemon juice and some Worcestershire sauce. And then sauce. we would have got on live and said, we want to thank the man and the Tita. What? I'd have added them on my. Hey, you know, women, you say, if you want to meet a good man and meet him at the grocery store or church, whatever, like, ain't that much meat in the meat section. They said meet, meet a good man at the grocery store? Back in the day, that's what they used to say. You got to meet him in the produce section. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 bon, the bones be over there, over there by the canned goods, but you want a good man, go over there and just linger around the veggies. You don't want no canned meat, man. You don't want no canned meat, man. I ain't saying nothing wrong with no sardines or no salmon patties. I'm just saying. <laughs> What's cracking? Darkest. Hey, good luck, y'all, because I dropped the ball this year. I, I, my wife told me we go out the name drop to get a reservation. I've been so preoccupied everywhere I called today said no. But you know what? I'm going to be honest. It's kind of scary. Me and Dorikas went to Steak 48. And it's it be, it's so packed. They're not doing the space like how they do it. Well, they least. are the best they can. Yeah, but they're trying to get that shmoney. I mean, and I don't, to me it's cool, but for a pregnant woman, I'm, my, yeah. my immune system is weaker. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in there putting my mask on, putting it out. Like, it's just, it's kind of scary. So, to be honest really with you, enjoy babe, yourself. just, I want you to be creative. It's too late to be creative. No, it's not. Well, we got to go ahead and get that orangutan. Here. <laughs> We can be creative here. Say less, mama. Huh? Say less. Okay. You know, less is more. What you want? Because Alva can make me a mermaid suit. We can get in the, <laughs> we can get in the hot tub. Whatever you make, man, make sure it got some bungee be strings. Some, bun some bungee cords on it. We straight. I just need a couple bungee, bungee cords. cords. Yes. <laughs> How you going to hang me? I'm It's pregnant. going down and then right back up. <laughs> You heard the man. <laughs> my man, it is. Woo. Uh, uh, oh, my God. I'm done with you, okay? Uh, Stupid. You know, I'm with that smoke now. <laughs> I'm with that smoke. You better be with that lasagna if I reach over and get that plate. It's a whole pan in there, thanks to High Point. I ain't, I ain't, I don't feel no pressure over here. Mm, Y'all know As soon what? as we put that camera on nice. I wake up at 3 o'clock. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You you cover your mouth, but they can still hear you chewing. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let, let, let me tell you something. <laughs> well, hold on, because that's rude. Uh, I want to try to put your blast. I'll just try to, you know. Oh, you right. Let's go I, and get that. I looked back at the last Taylor talk. <laughs> Honey, I was breathing so hard. I, I was embarrassed. <laughs> so all, I've been concentrating on my breath. Really? <laughs> It's going to make you an even greater singer. <laughs> Not that I think you can get any better. Listen. Because cause I ain't going to make sure you can hold them long. So, my little baby girl. So, let me tell you. I can't wait to meet my little baby. You be sleep. 
I wake up around three every morning. And pray? I I pray. <laughs> but while I'm praying, I um I had picked me up a Snickers. Had, Where'd you get a Snickers from? From the gas station. At three in the morning, you leave this house? No, I got it before because I know. Oh. Why are you hiding them and you know I like chocolate? Ken, they not for you, they for me and Kazaya. I am. So, anyway, I got a Snickers, a Carmelo bar, some pretzels that was covered in. Um, I seen those. And I was great going in your bag and trying them out. But you I can have some. It's you a ain't got bag. none in there no more. It's um, mm-hmm. How you going to go buy a Snickers and not buy me one? You know how you. Cause you been in the gym and I figured you don't want a Snickers. I know they was two for three dollars or something like that's just selfish. Were they? I don't know. All I know is this: that Snickers at three in the morning is the best. I don't even like. And like when you be at a hotel, you want something to eat late night and ain't got nothing. You go down there and all they got is the snacks and whatnot. You get you a Snickers. I'll be pissed at that because I don't like, like sweets. Or hot dog. But oh my god! I mean, talk to me about no snack I never heard about or seen that was offered. It was so soft. Any questions, Derekas? It was so good. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> What's up, Derekas? What's going on? Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the number one question everybody's wanting to know is, what are y'all eating? I guess um, that question is just keep popping up. Like, what are they it's eating? It's lasagna, but she has, like, vegetables in the lasagna. Mushrooms, and it's just really light. Her lasagna is the best. I'm going to post her. Um, but it's yes, grown folk lasagna right here. It's really good, y'all. It's really light. I can't really enjoy it because I ain't about eating people out of my face, but I definitely will have about two or three of these portions. I'm pregnant, so I have to do it. Three o'clock, though? That's what I was trying to say. I'm going to set my alarm. To know that that pan is in there? I'm going to set my alarm for 2 55. God, you are. You are. You are a provider. Every guy, you know, you know, you know, Don't what? You know, you know, what? You know, what? It's all good. God is good. Wait, you can go get us a Snickers. We have the tailors on. Nah. We can eat it together. Nah. <laughs> the rest of us are in here. <laughs> I was really talking about it. No, not in that kind of way. <laughs> You're like, oh, they got a chocolate oh, fetish kind of love. <laughs> yeah, we still. Oh, Willy Wonka couple. <laughs> So listen here. Earlier, um, y'all was t- you guys were talking about the grocery store incident, uh-huh. and you know, in these situations, uh, we've discussed this before. In these situations, mm-hmm. it's you know, we laugh and you know, we can joke about it, but this is that could be the start of infidelity. Do you feel like um, in most relationships, what your what your man or woman won't do makes them settle for something else that somebody else will? Because in these situations, I know we, uh, I know we can look at cheap things as settling. But when you're not getting anything at home, a cheap compliment means the world to you. And um, and Kendall, I also know like with Fantasia being pregnant, how much, uh, how much confident, confidence or uh, compliments do you have to give? And Fantasia, how much do you need? Do you feel like you need? Do you feel like you need more now than you ever have before? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I think every pregnant woman goes through that because I'm used to my banging body, you know, putting on my body kind dresses because Albert loved to make me a good body kind, going out, strutting my stuff in front of him. Now I have a wobble. <laughs> That's not funny. The other day we was in the kitchen, right? No. And she came around the corner. I was like, oh, that little penguin done kicked in now, huh? And she was like, no, 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 no. But it's like, I'm always rubbing on a kiss. Here's the thing. I, I think this is the problem. Boom. This is the way I'm answering. I've always complimented my queen. I've always showered her. I like my wife can't get her eyebrows done, put on a new nail color, get a new even if it's costume jewelry. I'm like, yo, I ain't never seen those before. I study her. I, I hulk her. You know what I'm saying? So I, for me, I think it's that she's so used to get. When, when you've been on hair on all your life, what's it's next? It's not even. It has right? honestly, it has nothing to do with you. That's what I'm thinking because. I don't think I could give her enough compliments because she gets them every day. Like that's just that's my baby. Like I'm gonna say something, but I I, I think 
My it's compliments me. can't fill a void. It's me. You know it's I mean? me. Like, I can't get out the bed as quick as I want. Like, what did I ask you to do when you walked in the room today? Put some lotion on them calves and feet. I can't reach him. <laughs> <laughs> so it's me that's cute Eric to is, me though it really is it's, and i think every woman goes through that of feeling like i can't you know do the things i usually do because i'm pregnant so i wonder this or i wonder that and we've had little spats where he'd be like babe i just told you and i'm like well tell me again just say it now <laughs> you know <laughs> so I, it's i think that every pregnant woman kind of goes through that but I think one of the good offsets is that I'm always on deck. Like I have a, I have, I have the luxury of being able to work from home, and a lot of dudes don't, right? So it's not like, <clears throat> and I don't just haphazardly just hang with cats, just to be hanging with them. You know, even when I hang out, it's for a purpose. So I'm not leaving her by herself at home, and I'm out hitting the town. I'm hitting the club. I'm, I'm living life. That would life, be even harder. Making her feel like I'm, I'm leaving her behind. The only thing I don't. That, that I have not stopped doing just because it's just me is I go to the gym. But I usually go before she even wake up. Like, literally, I creep out the house. She don't hear me. I get my oil. I anoint her and the baby. I pray. I go to the gym, and then I call her when I'm leaving the gym, and I'm like, yo, you hungry? You want some on my way back? She be like, you done at the gym already? Like, I was asleep. That's it. Other than that, I'm on deck. I'm at the house in case she needs me. Just to give her that feeling that we still are together. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go on a fishing trip with my homeboy. And, you know, anything that's going to make her feel like, She's stuck and anchored in this because we're in this together, you know, and that's by choice. Who? Cool. So, you know, it's Valentine's week. And um, rather, it's Valentine's Day, birthdays, Christmas. I want y'all to speak to this subject here. And I don't want the obvious answers of, you know, we love each other, da 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 da. I want y'all to think even before y'all were married. You can't tell us what to say. Well, I am. Oh. <laughs> This is how it goes down, y'all. This All they do is argue down. and love. <laughs> no, but for real, because there's a lot of people watching right now, and sometimes this is a subject that's not talked about. How important is planning, getting gifts, doing things? I know the obvious things is like, we love each other, I do stuff for you every day, but sometimes you just want to feel special on a day, whether it's your birthday, Christmas, and sometimes these holidays or these days go goes by, and we get the obvious answers. Well, you know, I love you. I do stuff for you every day. Every day is Christmas. Every day is Valentine's Day. But, but it means something special just to celebrate me on a day or to know that I actually took the time to plan. Can you speak? Because there's some, there's some couples sitting here right now that not, they're not being celebrated. Not just Valentine's Day, but then, you know, and it's like, well, I do stuff for you. I pay bills, you know, da 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 I da, hate that. that's the worst. <laughs> and that's the worst thing ever to say because that's what we supposed to do it's very important to plan or you will lose that relationship it will get old really really fast it will um and i think that's why from the jump like i was more of the like get up and go let's go to jamaica let's go like ken would be like huh i'd be like let's just go to jamaica <laughs> and when we get there, we would have a ball. We won't sit in a room. We'll go out. We walk the waterfall. Ken was so scared that day because we was out there with all types of people. But I'm just a I'm a cancer. Cancer can't like I can meet anybody and have a good time. What last week or I went to the grocery store about in the groceries like that's what you're supposed to do we are supposed to go on trips out to eat be spontaneous I'm gonna do something for you you do something like you you have to keep that going or you will lose the relationship that's just my opinion I feel like if you're a man and you on, on, on special occasions you saying you pay the bills like that's like that's a Fred Sanford kind of vibe right um it is key, and it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That's dope. Cause it's it. That's old school. Most of the old school oh. men used to be like that. Like, man, you better go in there and sit down. I got to pay these bills. Right. You're right. You better wake up, cause a lot of women got their own money. Like, Ooh. 
they can last thing you want to do is see your, your lady go get herself a Valentine's Day gift. Then you're gonna feel emasculated. You know what I mean? Um, for the for the time that I've been married to my queen, I tell all the time Valentine's Day is not even about me. It's not. I don't look for a gift. I don't look for anything. It's a day for me to shower my my wife with love and make her spell uh, make her feel special. I, 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 I do. You, that. I do make think, her feel special. I, I think you do look for a gift. Not on Valentine's Day. Yes, you do, baby. Oh, you try to remix that joint. I am the gift. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about. You, yeah. So yeah, that's another thing too. Like dudes, like let's like don't cap. I'm I'm not Valentine's Day. Just in my opinion, it's about the couple. But I feel like the focus is on my woman. I feel like it's it's a way to remind her why she chose me. And to remind her why she she still stays here. Because every day is a choice. She's not shackled to this marriage. She can get up and say tomorrow, you know what. And So I, I, I want to remind her of, 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 of why she's following me. And why she's trusting me. And to keep the spark. Like we have to keep the spark. Yeah. Oh, don't want I don't want to become like <laughs> sometimes it's boring. These, sometimes these relationships got these gas furnaces and you need to get up under there on Valentine's Day and light that joint back up, right? Nah, because if you don't keep that thing going on Valentine's Day, it ain't going to it's you know what you got two people at the table with an attitude. Oh, it never works. If you can't do it on this one day, then I'm definitely concerned about the other three hundred and sixty four. If you can't do it on this one day, then it speaks volumes for the other 364. That's where my challenge comes in. I have to call Dorica sometimes because I'm always doing something for my wife or trying to do something special. So, like, I get caught in the crunch. I'll be like, bro, has she told you anything? Has she shown you anything she's liking? Is she looking at something? He'll be like, well, I know she wants these right here. I'm like, send me the link. Like, because cause I'm, I'm trying to nail that joint. And it does get harder. Like, it gets harder when you... You know what I mean? You, you get your girl, you get your wife a bag for a, birth, uh, a baby shower, then you be but like, think, "What you gonna do next time?" But I'm here for the again, challenge. But again, it's 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 not even about literally going somewhere. Like what we just did tonight, movie. You know what I mean? Like dressing up a room, putting around some candles, doing some. You know, going to get you some candy coated. What the hell? Is, she got a bunch of stuff. You can go in there and get you some stuff. Yeah, you know about chocolate now, don't you? Huh? 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 No. Okay. Continue. <laughs> it's all about making it work. Like no matter what. Like if we can't we told y'all about this story when we first went out on the lake. We didn't care how big our boat was. Me and Ken had a blast. We was out there lit, babe. Yeah, we, we had our bottles. Lit. We had music. We was out on. there playing tonk. Do you think we was ghetto on the lake? Cause we had some we Not the music wasn't too loud. What happened on the boat is on the boat. That's between me and you. We can still hear y'all. Huh? We can still hear y'all. I swear my lips too big to whisper. <laughs> but here, here, here's another thing just to close that out, right? <clears throat> I promise you, fellas, if your wife always cooks, takes care of the kids, keeps the house clean on top of going to work, or she's a homemaker, I bet you one of the most romantic things you can do is clean your own damn house. Clean your house. Make sure your kids straight. Cook her a meal. Take, she going to be like, oh, my God. It's the simple thing of saying, yo, let me take that weight off of you that you all. There's so many ways to find a, a area of space to be romantic. Because sometimes dudes have so much money. Spending money is not really a big thing. It's like, okay, another tennis race, another this. Okay, I got one of those. But take take that responsibility off her shoulders and be like, you know, for the weekend, I'm, I'm going to let you go do the spa. I'm going to take care of the kids. I'm going to get them to soccer practice. I bet you she's going to fall and get weak in the knees. That's just like I was just speaking with. My friend right here, and my friend went on a trip. And my friend's like, I'm always busy. I'm always doing this, doing that. And I said, well, did you calm down on the trip? Which, you know? And he's like, yeah, I did. I didn't do anything. That's sacrificing because sometimes if, let's just say, if it was me and you and I plan a trip, but then when we get there, I'm like, well, I did tell such and such I was going to come over there and sing at her event or it's what like, happened? What, happened? what happened? Yeah, you wouldn't eat fast enough. It's like <laughs> you would get irritated. You would get a little aggravated because it's almost like this is my time. This is, you know, can you just, you know, so I was very proud of you for 
taking a pause and actually being present and being in the moment. And that's what we got to do when we're in relationships. You have to be present and be in the moment and make some sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah. Last question. So, um, and think about this. When um, there's a lot of people watching, and I used to always wonder about this too, like, it's Valentine's week and you've met somebody you've been dating maybe a month, two months, maybe half a year. What is, how far do you go without, uh, how to put this? Because you know, you can do too much and then the standards is too high. You can do too less. And like, how, how soon is too soon? Like, how like, do you like, cause you know, Valentine's day, we don't know, like go buy you some shoes, a purse, da, 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 da. you know, in the beginning stages, how far do you, do you go without, cause you, you know. <laughs> you, you want this double dutch, you want it, you want it? I think that's, oh, I think that's too, too much to think about. I think that's when you like, I don't know. For me, I'm just like a free spirit. So if I want to get it, I'm going to get it. And what I'm giving you doesn't come with anything other than the fact that I'm getting you something. That means I, I dig you. I really dig you. Of course, don't come out with a ring for a woman. <laughs> Not it. Even if it don't come out with a promise ring, don't come out with a cute ring. Don't, don't, don't come do out it. with your grandmother's. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> but like, I do think that. Oh, yeah, that was oh, worth the swap. Oh, my God. Man, look at God. Oh. Keep talking, baby. It was on you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I lost my train of thought. So. Remind the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, for me, Derek, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I think that's just, I don't know. And Ken's probably gonna say different, but for me, I think that's just too much work. Like, if I dig you and we've been kicking it, if I see a pair of shoes, and my grandma and them used to say, "Don't ever buy a man a pair of shoes," does that mean he gonna walk out your life? Don't ever buy him a watch, cause that mean what did that mean? First thing you bought me was a pair of shoes. Did? Yeah. Cause I knew you weren't going nowhere. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Cocky and cape. They go well together. <laughs> That's some cocky cape. I'm just saying. I know you ain't going nowhere. You know. I'm not gonna say different than you. I will say I I think I think it needs to be some consideration. I think it needs to be on both parties. But we only been together three months and we happen to be running up on Valentine's Day. I just met you after Thanksgiving. I'm not going out there to spend no reckless bag on you. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, I mean we could do something nice. I'm a boom. I'm a businessman. <laughs> Let's do it like this. You can show that person something that you're investing in the potential of your relationship, right? But like any investment, you never invest anything that you can't afford to lose, and that's the best way I can put it. Yeah. You, you never invest anything when you're making an investment. That you cannot afford to lose. I like that. And I'll leave it like that. Because everything is customized and tailored towards your specific thing. But for wherever you are in that relationship, that is a token and a memento saying, I want to invest in the possibility of what we can become. But don't invest anything that you can't afford to lose. I like that. I like it. Three, three months. Cute, something cute. That would have given me a better chance to lead at a greater capacity early on. I, I learned too much through trial and error. You can't get into my, 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 my. I ain't getting into Who the hell in here? I was just finna say something after you. You yeah, finna. Talk to me then. I don't think you could have asked those questions. I believe questions come as we grow. Yeah, I wasn't but we that ain't same ask each other really. I mean, we put a lot out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, what you want to ask me is yeah, I didn't know it was going to really happen six, been. five years down right, the line. Then I get a do over there since you want to. It's chat. true, though. I think that's true. Like, relationships grow. Shine, would you say your marriage is growing when you met Lisa? It wasn't the same as it is now? No. Sometimes so, some things know. you just don't know, but yeah. I think that's relationship. You're not supposed to. It's called growing together. And we don't Thanks, like babe. what? Well, then, Derek, is, I have to say it like this. You know how you watch. You better not. Oh, I thought you'd come take my cake. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> you gotta get heartburn to get to play. But you know how you watch those movies, right? And they like got time travel in them, 
And if you go to the future or the past, if you take this cup and you move it, it disrupts the whole equilibrium. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I can't go back and change anything because then I would alter the course of where we're going to end up at. Good, the, bad, light, darkness, thing. whatever. I can't move a single thing because then it would disrupt the path that God has us on. So, I, I wouldn't change It's stuff. a God thing. And that's the thing. Like, you know, babe, please. I'm so parched. And you never drink it. Why? Why? The, my only question for you, you know what? I'm, here, I'm, <laughs> I'm sick of this, man. Every week. <laughs> she takes all of it. It's not enough to just get through prayer. You imagine? You take. The, <laughs> she takes the whole thing, man. I'm tired of being treated like you that, bro. Me this one of the moments where I feel like we move way too fast. We, yeah, I just literally <laughs> spit that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to survive out here, man. It's good gracious, man. Can we get water in table seven? <laughs> Yo, she don't never like just oh, take well, a little bit to get through the moment. She takes whatever I got in my cup. Then, right? Clearly, <laughs> even the servers have noticed you don't eat or finish that food. Yo, oh, please. In case you forgot, we are live. I, I'm not supposed to be like. Please do not mean me. He made me spit that water out because he reached for the whole. Thing. Oh. This is what you want. Oh. what you want from me. This is what your Valentine's Day should be like. Do not lose the laughter, the joy, and your water. Whatever you do, don't lose your water. Oh God. What? That was now that was a good one. I can't help it. You stupid. I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. man. We're gonna pray. We're gonna let nice cook and then I'ma eat my food, drink my water oh. by myself. I wanna eat alone. I man. wanna be alone. I'm just saying. Oh my God. Last call for water. <laughs> you say what, bro? Last call for water. Last call for water. Oh my God. I want to, before you pray, I want to like, since it's like love and Valentine's Day, I really want to like, I'm probably going to say this wrong. Dimitri, you're probably going to help me. But like, to all of our family who have been supporting Taylor Talks, posting Taylor Talks, I want to say it's Fantasia Takeover. Yeah. Yeah. Tasia Love. Yeah. Definitely, uh, Rock Soul Li- lives nation. Lives. You got Sheena, like eighteen thousand fan pages. But there, I, but I'm a- noticing that the I think the Fantasia Takeover one, they go really like they all go so hard. And so I want to say, Happy Love Day to you guys. We send our love through the phones. We thank you. We appreciate you. And everybody that comes on Tuesdays, and watch, we love you. We appreciate you. Sha nice. We love you. We appreciate you. All right. <laughs> Eddie and the company that does all of these great things for us. Mui, we want to thank you guys. Alberto, we thank you. Alberto. I know he's like, somebody came up to me at the hospital and was like, I know. So, and I, I call him Alberto. You was there. Uh, I call him Alberto so much that I was like, no, ma'am, I don't know who that is. Like, Are you sure he's from the gas station? I was like, Alberto. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we just want to thank you, Dorikis. Baby, you don't pay me no mind. Is that, a, is that a Valentine's? I was, thinking, I was trying to think of a Valentine's. Day. No, that's free yourself. <laughs> if you free yourself on, if, you, if you're freeing yourself on Valentine's Day, yeah, you don't need to be it. with them. That ain't it. You better play the new album. You better play the new album. <laughs> but I do. I, I love you all, Dorikis. Straight up, you know, me and Dorikis went to eat some barbecue the other day, and we we talked so much and for so long that we looked up and realized we were the only people in there. They was like, well. We're trying to close, <laughs> but it, it's it's those moments that I realize that we have a team of people around us, and we want you to know that we're your team too. Um, you know, we don't want to be leeches and pull, 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 pull. We we want to give back as well in any way we can. So I just want to say we love y'all, and big head. I love you too. Sometimes I can't stand you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> 
but I do love you and I appreciate everything that you do. I couldn't do this journey without you. So I want you to know that I love you every day, not just on Valentine's Day, but I guess during this whole pandemic and all that we have been going through, I'm so appreciative of being able to have this moment and to be able to have it with you guys and especially with you, my number one dude. Yeah. Man, if I knew how to cry, I would cry. I would, I would cry so hard. I you don't. You ain't to cry. I'm a crier. I cry for you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jesus gave that water where you never thirst alone. I mean, you never thirst again. <laughs> that was dope, Corey. <clears throat> Father, just thank you for a beautiful, intimate, romantic evening in the presence of truth and wisdom. We ask that you speak to every couple, every single person, every divorced person or lonely person, whatever the case may be, and just fill any empty places so that we can correctly and properly first see ourselves and then those that you have chosen for us, that we would treat them with honor, respect, and dignity and trust that they would treat us with the same. So we ask that you keep everybody safe. And I'm going to be bold and say I ask that you put a hedge of protection around every marriage couple and put on notice every Jezebel spirit, every spirit that is promiscuous in men, anything that would try to hurt, hinder, or destroy a righteous relationship in their moments of weakness or in strength. Lord, just rebuke it and put it at the feet of Christ where it must be judged. Let righteous marriages be uplifted. Let them be celebrated that you may be glorified. In your son Yeshua name we pray. Amen. 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 Happy Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy love Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yeah, because it's Sunday, so we won't see y'all till next Tuesday. So, Happy V Day. Maybe I can more than enough. That was enough. <laughs> It was not. It was not. Wrong. Uh, uh, remix. And then he said it so bold and confident. That was enough. No, it wasn't. Because everybody in LA they was confused. My wife was like, no, that's, that's just not enough. The song. It, you thought it was what? Uh, no. I swear, I thought it was Sound more like song. a hymn, Dorikas. <laughs> it's nice. He said it so confident. Like, that was enough. That? I'm selling these bottles right. of, of, of candle water online <laughs> on Fantasia Official. They're going for $19.99. Uh, you know, they, each one holds a gallon. Get your own. I'm Appreciate sponsoring these. I stay thirsty. Yeah, see Kimbo on your way out. Sell a fresh water, church. Please Free shipping. Kimbo on your way out. Support water. Yo. Free shipping. <laughs> Y'all have been a blessing to me today. I was really sleepy and tired, but I woke up. That food was amazing. Nisha. Thank you. High points finance, yeah you know I mean. Uh-huh. Mui, Albert, Derekus, nice. Yes. Do something to make us feel. Do the COVID. We need a cash tip. <laughs> 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 well, ah! since y'all got it all set up all nice down there, uh -huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just create a vibe. Okay. okay. Since y'all cooling and chilling, we yeah. just I'll just do it like this right here. Oh, you might get something tonight. You throw it, I catch. <laughs> <laughs>